Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. Um, at this time, we are talking about setting up a single node uh, cluster for uh, practicing Hadoop and Spark development uh, so that uh, one can explore the technologies. Uh, so, so far we have uh, provisioned uh, uh, EC2 instance as we are demonstrating on AWS, but you can get it from any cloud provider. Once you get the instance, uh, you can install uh, 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 Cloudera distribution of Hadoop following the videos and uh, af uh, after that we also reviewed uh, several components uh, that are uh, important for practicing Hadoop ecosystem and as part of this video I will try to help you to set up uh, a log automatic log generator uh, so that you can act actually practice uh, the streaming technology such as Flume. Okay? So again, uh, the uh, uh, the code snippets uh, I got it from the Cloudera Quick Start VM, which have some scripts uh, which can facilitate you uh, to generate the lo those logs automatically. Again, uh, uh, the, those scripts are available in my GitHub account. My GitHub account is uh, uh, dgadraju, and the repository is code. In the repository, we have a directory called Hadoop. EDW scripts gen underscore logs is the directory which you, we need to copy into the um, uh, into the single node cluster uh, uh, that that is created on AWS. So first we need to clone the repository. Okay, now the repository is cloned, and we got the link the um, from the repository itself click on the repository the main directory here you can see the cloner download link and this is the url which you need to use to clone the github repository and git clone is the command you can use okay so git clone that url and then you can go to code Hadoop code is the directory created with git clone command uh, edw scripts and ls hyphen ltr you can see the gen underscore logs it's a directory which we need to copy to um, slash opt okay so i am actually moving this gen underscore logs to slash opt and hit enter and then go to home directory by running cd command and you can remove the github repository which is cloned we don't need that we just need this gen underscore logs okay so we have gone to this location code hadoop ew scripts and then moved gen underscore logs to slash opt you can review that it is under slash opt and then you can also say slash opt slash gen underscore logs to see what is there in that it has uh, three scripts and a uh, few other uh, directories which will actually uh, generate logs uh, uh, which actually had the code etc you can actually review the uh, scripts by by running view command on opt gen underscore logs start underscore logs dot sh and here you can see that uh, in lib there is a script called uh, gen http logs dot py which will be executed when we run the script and then it will redirect the uh, logs generated to this location called log slash access dot log which is in this logs directory okay so now to make this available what we'll do is we'll create soft links for these three scripts start logs stop logs tail logs uh, under slash user bin so that anyone can run uh, these scripts without uh, changing the directory and all okay so once you log in once you uh, after creating the soft links under slash user bin you don't need to come to this location to run these scripts so i'm creating soft link to create softlink the command is ln hyphen s and i want to create softlink for 
opt gen underscore logs start underscore logs in the location user bin start underscore logs dot sh and then we I also want to create opt gen underscore logs stop underscore logs at user bin stop underscore logs dot sh so this is another soft link and the final soft link for tail underscore logs user bin tail underscore logs dot sh okay so now we have created uh, soft links under user bin and uh, now from any directory we can run the scripts as of now we are under slash root directory and if you run start logs dot sh it will start that script um, which will generate the http logs and you can actually review those uh, the logs generated by running tail logs dot sh you can see that lot of http logs are being generated okay so whenever you want to try a flume or kafka or some other tool you can actually uh, start start underscore logs which will generate the logs and at that time you can actually uh, uh, explore uh, any streaming technologies to stop the logs you just run stop logs dot sh and hit enter it will stop the logs and now if you run tail logs dot sh it should stop generating the logs and now you can you can see that the screen is not refreshing okay so now you can actually use flume as well let's validate whether we have flume on this so flume is not there and we we need to add flume also to, to our single node cluster for that just click on this add a service so we want to set up flume if you want to set up kafka you can set up kafka also click on continue so it's pretty straightforward as we are using single node vm and we want to use flume with hbase hdfs and zookeeper so select the second option click on continue we will only run on this click on ok click on continue now the flume will be added onto this single node vm now we have flume it is not started so let us start it as flume is installed now still it is not coming up so exit and login back again and now try running flume hmm. let us wait for some time okay the command is flume hyphen ng not flume yeah yes flume hyphen ng is the command so now flume is available on this you can practice flume using uh, data that is generated by um, by start logs script which we have deployed on this single node vm okay that being said we we have a uh, mysql database to run scoop we have uh, uh, these uh, custom scripts to generate logs we can use this uh, um, uh, the mysql uh, database retail underscore db and also uh, the start logs script to generate the logs uh, to get data from multiple sources in this self-contained uh, uh, ec2 instance okay so that being said i hope you're enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video or if you want to provide the feedback please do so um, uh, so that i can actually improvise on the um, um, based on your feedback and finally um, uh, please stay tuned for a uh, lot more quality content around hadoop and most of the emerging technologies thank you bye